going to be pulling your tarot cards for your astrology sign for today and the week ahead. Before we get started, I'm going ahead and cleansing your space. You will hear three taps or three dings, and then we will move on. Here we go. Let's get started, my beautiful Virgos. What do we have in store for you today? Spirit guides, garden angels, let's go ahead and get some messages in regards to what Virgo needs to know. Let's welcome beautiful Virgo to the table, to my safe, beautiful safe space. Virgo, what is going on with you, my loves? Give these a good shuffle here. Okay, Virgo. I'm going to pull three cards and then we will get a talk in. Okay. Virgo, first off, I'm sending you a big hug. My heart kind of just sunk. Um, you know, right now, I feel like your overall energy is kind of like a defeated vibration. We are starting with the Eight of Swords for you, Virgo, this trapped in fear energy. There's something that you have recently found out either about somebody or within yourself. Now, I know that's kind of this double edge, like unknown, but, you know, we can clarify as we move forward. There's some type of truth that has recently come to your life and or will be kind of showing itself here in the week to come, okay? I feel like you have been just kind of defeated the last couple of weeks, possibly months. You know, the Eight of Swords is all about power and success, and I feel like with the Eight of Swords, particularly for you, you've been just you know, lagging that power and lagging that individual, you know, need for success and just kind of in this overall life questioning energy, right? Like, am I, you know, you may have a good job. Am I at the right job? Does this make me happy? Some days, yes, some days, no. But there's something that's constantly nagging you to do something different. Now, following this Eight of Swords, we've got our chakra card number six, which is the third eye chakra. And your third eye chakra is always about, you know, in regards to your intuition. You know that something needs to change. You just don't know how to do it, right? When we get sixes, it's all about loyalty and responsibility. So I feel like after all of this time, um, maybe in a particular job or home or something within your lifestyle, you know deep down that you need and you can do better. And this could just be like adding an exercise routine. And, you know, exercise goes a long way. And knowing that you haven't been eating right and like just, just like that deep truth of knowing. So the third card that we have is indeed the number 20, the truth card here, okay? And this is judgment. You know, this is just represents that the future is not set in stone. Like anything is possible at the moment. If you want to change, you can. Whatever you have been and whatever has been nagging at your, you know, the at your back discreetly within yourself. Maybe you haven't been talking to people about this. Maybe it's been something like you put a smile on, but and people see that smile, but deep down there's something off, okay? There's something that you're discovering, again, I'm going to reiterate, within yourself and or somebody comes into your life and there's something that you find out that just kind of is, is mind-boggling, right? Let's go ahead and clarify this truth card, which is a major arcana. So it's a major event that is going to be happening in the next week. So maybe it's you finally get the courage to 
you know, you already know the truth because it comes right after that third eye chakra. It's all about intuition. You know what needs to be done. And that could be the truth that you finally um, come, you know, you finally accept and you want to conquer. Yeah. Number five, five of cups. We've got this emotional loss. So this, whatever has been conquering you within has really me messed up your mental state. Okay, this truth that you know that needs to change is really just again, I think I don't think that you're somebody that is showing this to the world. I think that this is just that this internal depth of, you know, not being fulfilled. Okay, and that's making you feel like this trapped feeling that you've been having. Let's see what else we have. Authority number 4. Okay, this is the emperor. This is showing that you are a powerful being, that you have that masculine energy to do what it takes to make this change. You don't have to be stuck in this stagnant energy anymore, okay? There may be somebody in your life that is going to help uh, and kind of maybe there's somebody that you finally talk to that acknowledges that how deep of, you know, the stagnancy that you're in and they're going to be the ones that help you. It could be, you know a parent. It could be just somebody that has that masculine energy. It could be yours and theirs. Or it could be your lover. We've got the six, the lover's card, this harmony card. It could be your partner that finally steps in and says, you know what? I see that you're not completely happy with what you're doing, even though you're extremely successful. What, how can I help to make this better? Maybe it's something within your relationship that needs to change. And they finally identify that and they recognize that and they see it happening. Okay. So during this time, reach out to somebody close to you that, and, or they're going to be reaching out to you is what I see. Let's get one more card to clarify all of these other cards. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know? What is an overall message in regards to this transitional stagnant time for Virgo? What is aching at Virgo? Number nine, fulfillment of wishes, the nine of cups here, okay? Nines are all about completion, endings, and transition. So yeah, you're ready to really defeat this, whatever has been kind of eating you up inside. You're ready to move forward. You're, you've been kind of stuck in between these two waterfalls and you're slowly finally coming to a realization in this upcoming week that you're ready to open the treasure chest of your amazing abilities. Virgos, you, you guys are so powerful. You guys are, you know, have that 100% type A energy. And I think that a lot of the times that makes you second guess things. Um, so this is saying that, you know, release that. Release that feeling of doubt. Perfection is not needed in order to fulfill, you know, things that you wanted to overcome, okay? Let's get one more card from my Buddha card deck. See what kind of messages that this deck has for you. What does Virgo need to know in regards to this reading for them? Let's see. We've got patience, number 25. Okay, not a surprise. At the end of, because it's all about, you kind of are in the, you're, you're in the instant gratification. I need, I know what I need. It's, it's bringing me down, but I need it now. And this is saying you need to just take a step back and dig a little bit deeper within, okay? At the end of the way is freedom. Till then, patience, see? Patience is a fine, noble quality. It implies that everything is possible in the timelessness of space and being. And a deep knowingness reminds you that nothing can fail you but your own impatience. What did I say? Yes, yes, yes. This is all about you, like you really not beating yourself up so hard. You guys really go hard in, in your own feelings and that's fine. But just allowing that space for you to grow and to know that not, everything doesn't have to be perfect, right? I see really beautiful things coming because we ended with the nine of cups, that fulfillment of wishes. So keep pushing Virgo and make sure that you take that step back and have that patience. Anytime you're like, why isn't this happening? Remember, Patience is a virtue, without a doubt. All right, Virgos, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and close your reading. Until next time, love and light.